Comforting, caring, safe. A place where everyone feels loved, respect, valued. That's the image in my mind right now. And that's the image those who set foot on a pirate wing rush left behind back in 1948. Home was bright. Home was warm. Home was kind. They hoped they would find another, promised in the words of Lord Kitchener, who sang with pride. Long land is the place for me. And so with excitement and purpose, many ventured across the Atlantic to Tilbury, Tilbury Docks, where they were greeted. But not all with brightness, warmth or kindness. Times were tough at first, camping in underground stations, washing with embarrassment in dirty bathhouses, unspeakable words escaping from some so hurtful. A place to call home? Well, yes. In parts, thanks to those who welcomed all into their communities. Today, the feeling of Caribbean home is part of London. The sounds of steel pans from Trinidad skipping through the streets of Notting Hill. The beats of reggae bouncing from one jerk chicken stool to the next. Special thanks and recognition to many who have dedicated their lives to this country, England. Baroness Fluella Benjamin and Athena McNish, who shared their colours of the Caribbean with us all. And finally, a day stepped into the calendar. Windrush Day! So that every year the Windrush generation is celebrated and all are made to feel at home, like they belong. Perhaps, just perhaps, it could be true. London could be a place for everyone.